Hey everyone, it's Carlo. In this video, I'm gonna show you not only what an effects bus is, but how to create one quickly and easily here in Studio One. Let's take a look. You're often gonna hear the term effects bus in audio production. Basically what that means is if you remember our signal flow, coming down from the top here, we have our inserts for processing, but unlike processing inserts which are in line, a send will split your audio signal. Not only will it continue to come down here through your master fader and then your, your output bus, it'll send the signal in addition to another track for a unique kind of purpose for processing, like a reverb or a delay. And an easy way to do that here in Studio One is to right click on your send, on the bus that you want to split and do some effects bus processing on and choose add bus for selected channels. And then right here, you see it says bus one. Now the first thing I would do is label that. And I'll call it piano verb. Let's say I wanted to put some reverb on there or something. Okay, so now I have a signal that's being split here at this send. And it's going through this master fader and now here, into this piano verb. But there's no processing on here yet, not yet. Let's go back to our edit window and take a listen to our, our piano for our demo. Beautiful piano. Now, it helps to obviously have a purpose as to what you're looking to do to your audio before you start playing around with an effects bus. In this case, I wanna add a little bit of reverb, make it feel like it's a more lively in a live room. Let's go to Browse and under Effects Chains in this example, we'll come down to Instruments, and I'm going to choose right here, here's a perfect one, I'm going to choose Grand Piano, and I'm gonna drag it onto my auxiliary channel that we created this bus. Now we have a split signal. The send is going to bus some of it. A bus is like driving a bus here for this processing in this track, in addition to any inserts you have here prior to that coming out my master fader. So you'll see metering being active now on my piano and my master, in my uh, piano reverb bus here. Take a look now. So the audio, what you're hearing is a mix of the original signal and the new effects signal here on the bus. Now why do that? Why split our signal? Well, it's really simple. Processing here under inserts is things that happen in series, in line, one after another, an EQ, a compressor, some gating, for example. But sending an effect to like a time base uh, effects like reverbs and such here, like we have reverb here, you can also have a blend of those two signals, the original one, the process one, and a more unique colorful one, like in this case with the grand piano uh, preset that we just used. Now, let me deactivate that processing and you'll hear it first, the original without. And here's with our new effects bus processing. So there you have it, how to quickly and easily create an effects bus channel here by right clicking or choosing the plus sign in Studio One and having some creative fun with your mixes. Now you know. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.